you know something's happening, but you're not quite sure what right. it is. So it starts to interfere a little bit with your work and, and just and your confidence level. I can deal with this. I'm, you know, I'm strong. And well, then the hot flashes hit. Is it hot in here or is it me? <laughs> no desire whatsoever. It just is not there. Um, it's almost as though women feel like they're going to turn into sexless bobs. My mom said that this would probably be the best time of my life, the most free time of my life. And I think it has been. Hi, I'm Kathy Smith. Every 29 days for the past 30 years, my body has faithfully prepared itself to become pregnant. Two of those occasions resulted in the births of my daughters. The other 400 plus times have provided a kind of vital pulse throughout my adult life. A steady rhythm as dependable as the seasons. Now, along with an estimated 20 million American women, I'm reaching perimenopause. This is a three to four year period leading up to menopause when hormonal changes and symptoms start to occur. It's too early to tell right now, but so far I've had relatively few symptoms other than some restless sleep and irritability. Are exercise and healthy lifestyle paying off? Or are hot flashes and severe mood swings waiting around the corner? I don't know, and this is part of the fear surrounding menopause. We don't know what to expect or how we're going to cope with it when we get there. Technically, menopause means the end of the reproductive cycle, which can only be determined after a full year without a period. The average age for menopause onset is about 51, but women may notice changes as early as their late 30s. Here's what happens. On one hand, your body is undergoing major shifts as a result of hormonal changes and the natural aging process. It starts in the ovaries where the hormones estrogen and progesterone, along with some testosterone, are produced. Sometime between the age of 35 and 40, our ovaries begin to shrink. This process speeds up during perimenopause. As our egg supply begins to age and dwindle, estrogen production decreases. This upsets the familiar hormonal rhythms of the body. Estrogen levels may spike and dip in unpredictable patterns. Testosterone begins to decline and progesterone production may stop altogether. These hormonal fluctuations cause changes in the reproductive cycle, as well as every structure and organ in the body, affecting skin tone, bone density, muscle strength, digestion, heart rate, and circulation. These changes can trigger a host of symptoms, including menstrual irregularities, hot flashes, night sweats, increased PMS and mood swings, sleep problems, fuzzy thinking, dry skin, vaginal dryness and irritation, incontinence, vaginal infections, and loss of libido. Your genes play a part in the degree of symptoms you experience. So do lifestyle factors, such as diet, exercise habits, and stress level. Along with physical changes, many women face stressful midlife issues. We have a lot of things going on. The end of reproduction marks the closing of a chapter in our lives. It's a time for taking stock. Lines appear on our face, and we may have asked, what happened to our youth? Have I done everything I set out to do? Who am I now? What will I do once my children are gone? How will I take care of my parents? Am I happy with my friendships, my marriage, my career? And how will I take care of myself when I'm old? These are some of the questions that may come up as we negotiate our way through midlife. Being hit hard with both hormonal symptoms and life issues can land you right into a kind of menopause midlife crisis, increasing your chance of experiencing anxiety, irritability, depression, loss of self, weight gain, insomnia, sexual problems, osteoporosis, and heart disease. Although this all sounds pretty awful, the fact is we're going to get through it. Nobody ever has died of a hot flash or a dry vagina. It can be a scary time filled with discomfort and uncertainty, but it can also be a time of self-discovery, creativity, and growth. We're going into this time with more options than any generation of women before us. And what our mothers may not have told us, we're going to find out together as we trudge this road, cutting new paths for our daughters to follow. Our task now is to do what we can to reduce the short-term symptoms and the long-term health risks. Although hormone replacement may be part of the solution for some women, it's not enough to simply take a pill and call it a day. There's no shortcut here. 
healthy lifestyle measures like diet, exercise, and stress reduction still give our heart and bones the best medicine that money can buy. And they can minimize and even eliminate most of the symptoms without the side effects or increased risk associated with hormone replacement therapy. Menopause is the best opportunity we've had in decades for awakening to a whole new sense of well-being. The truth is, the 50s are a time when you can have it all. Experience and wisdom, along with strength and vitality. Being just old enough to have an interesting take on things, yet still energetic enough to follow your dreams. That's what the 50s are all about. Menopausal symptoms may have the floor right now, but if you're willing to make a few lifestyle adjustments and let go of things that no longer work, they'll pass and you'll be free to enjoy the best years of your life. In the upcoming segments of this tape, I'll share what I've learned and help you map your own course for this journey. I've designed a three-part exercise program that addresses specific symptoms and long-term health issues. We'll start with the cardiovascular routine to burn calories, protect your heart, and lift your mood. We'll follow up with strength and balance exercises to protect your bones, improve posture, and boost your confidence. The yoga session will help you get centered, relieve stress, and rejuvenate. The exercise routines can be done separately or in combination, depending on your energy level and time. The show finishes off with answers to frequently asked questions about a range of topics, including hormone replacement, herbs, and sexual function. While this tape doesn't attempt to cover the vast amount of information available on menopause, it will provide you with a springboard for making important lifestyle improvements and moving forward with your own investigation of the options. Let's get started by finding out why cardiovascular exercise